Hey guys, so I know my face is really, really bright right now, and the reason why is because I need to have like the light bright, uh, right in my face because if I have it on my side like I usually do, this side, this side of my face looks all shadowed, and this is a tutorial for this side of my face, so that's not gonna work. Um, and it's really because usually it's okay, but since it is really dark outside, it's been stormy all day. Um, that's why I'm wearing my sweater because it's cozy. Um. Yeah, so I have this little issue, but hopefully we can get past it and this will work and it will highlight the side of my face. But if you can't tell by the very bright blue eyeshadow, this is going to be an under the sea tutorial. I'm sorry, I'm tired and when I'm tired it gets really weird. And please excuse my really bad eyebrows. They're really bothering me. Like I'm looking there and I'm like, have my eyebrows are bothering me. But I can't really do anything right now. No, because I spent quite a bit of time on this eye, and that's why I'm doing only one eye for this tutorial, because it's kind of hard. <laughs> um, it's not hard hard, it's just time consuming for my skill level. And I'm a beginner. But if you're an expert, this probably will be really easy for you. And I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm just going to tell you why I'm doing this video. And this is for a contest that Tiffany Lee is holding. Tiffany Lee Makeup, that's her name of her channel. Her name's Tiffany, um, is holding. And, yeah, and... You get to win a whole bunch of prizes, so if you want, you can enter too. You know, call, hug each other, and cross our fingers together, and hopefully one of us wins. It's up to you, but go check out. And I mentioned her before several times. I don't. Know, she's like one of the uh, one of the first people that I actually talked to on YouTube, and I actually kept in contact. And I still like I comment her videos, and she'll comment and be like, "Hey, long time no talk," and yeah. Right, so she's one of the few people that I actually do that with, and I feel like I look like really retroly yellow faced. Like, see, my tutorial would work if I had didn't have that light on in it. I'm sorry, guys. It's not my fault. It's just really late, and I live at the front of the house. But let's get into it, and we'll go under the sea with Ariel and Sebastian and uh, Flounder. And before I get into the tutorial, I want to say I did search up The Little Mermaid, and she wears very little makeup. She wears her mascara, which makes her eyes look amazing, and I tried to focus my mascara on her. And then she has her bright red lips, so I had to turn those down because I'm going kind of crazy with the eyes. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you see all my crazy hand actions. But, yeah. And, okay. So I'm just going to show you the side. And I made sure it was nice and bright and blue and yeah. So let's go into the side. Okay. Let's see, let's check that on. No, okay, I'm sorry guys, we're gonna go light off for this one. Okay. So um let me just mirror the mirror so it's not in the way. And let's go. So um the first color I'm going to get is from the Elf palette, and this is the cool colored one, and then I'm just gonna get the first blue in the corner there and I'm going to take this with my elf eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pat that onto the lid of my eye and these I'm just going to swatch these just to show you I'm going to swatch off my finger these shadows are super pigmented and I would super duperly recommend them I'm just going to pat that on you guys need to see my eye lid of my eye like that, and I love how the blues in this palette because it reminds me of like like different depths of the water and like the great. I don't know because I just like water. It's good for you, and it's fun. Make sure to get in there, over there, and there we go. And then I'm going to get my blending brush from Kirkland and I'm going to take this almost seafoam green on the, uh, pretty much the opposite end of the palette and I like this color because it not only brings in like the bluey tones it also brings in like the green like the seaweed and yeah and it reminds me of like Ariel's tail almost like let me swatch that for you it looks it looks a lot like Ariel's tail color like, this is a super pigmented swatch, but 
pigmented pigmented or whatever that word is sorry it reminds me of her tail so that's why I liked it I'm just gonna apply that into my crease and blend that out and I actually practiced this last night because I didn't want to come in like a complete idiot and make my face look like a clown there's that and next I'm going to grab my eyeliner and I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. Um, and this is in the color Black is Black. And I know I said, well I actually don't even know if it, I, I made a review on this and I said I didn't like it. But I actually really do like it now. Um, just get some getting used to. And I'm sorry, if the, okay I gotta zoom out for this part just a little bit because I get kind of funky when I, I don't want the mirror to be, I have the mirror right here. Okay, so. got some under here and that's what I like about this I could just like wipe it and I have like all that swatching swatchy on that finger and that just got <laughs> everywhere but just a little bit of eye makeup remover and that is gone and any fallout here is also gone I'm just gonna finish that line and I'm not going to wing it out because I fail at winging things out and See, I was thinking of go going with a colored liner, but then I'm like, you know, doing a blue shadow everywhere. So, seriously, don't go crazy. Because um, it's super easy to go crazy with a look like this. And then next, I'm going to get this blue here. And I did not swatch this color before today. And I'm just going to lightly swatch this one. It's the most gorgeous blue color ever. And I don't know, I just find it so hypnotic, and I can't believe I've never swatched this before. And so it's right there, and I'm just going to get a little, um, can't remember the name of this brush right now. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. I want to call it a pencil brush, but I know this is not a pencil brush. Um, a smudge brush, maybe? I don't know. God, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, out of it right now. I'm, I told you I'm tired. Um, so I'm just going to get a little bit of that. And I'm just going to line probably around to halfway under my eye, starting from the edge here. So pretty much like continuing. Just like that. And that'll help brighten my eye. Just a bit. And then I'm going to get... Um, this Estee Lauder brush is just like a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take this color in the very corner, bottom corner, right there. And um, this is such a beautiful highlighting color for your inner crease. It's not, I don't know, I feel like it's not white, white, which I like. But it gives you a nice, like, ooh, look, shine. Let me add a little more there. So, yeah. So, that's the eye look. And I'm just going to zoom out a little more. I gotta move my mirror to the side. And as you can see, this has a little more of an edge. Well, this has a little more of a, like, I'm dying kind of thing. So I'm just gonna get a Q-tip. And I'm going to have a video on things you can do use a Q-tip for. Because there's seriously 5 million and 3 on different ways. I probably won't cover all 5 million and 3. But if you have not used a Q-tip before, what are you waiting for? And I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna drag it upwards. And just try and get a little more of a, a straighter line almost. So I just feel like that gives it a little more of a cleaner look. And I like the elf shadows because they didn't leave a lot of fallout and they weren't really like chalky. Like I tried to use a different shadow last night and I got it all in my eye and my eyes like I got powder in my eye. It was quite weird. Um so that is the eye look and then I'm just gonna zoom out some more and I'm gonna show you my cheeks. Hey guys so I'm going to be using the MAC blush. This is their blush cream pearl. 
okay, in the color Sweet William. And I've mentioned this color before. I love it. It's shiny. I don't know. I don't know. I have like a special place in my heart for this color. I don't even know why. It's just, I don't know. It's like a bubblegum pink, but it's like blendable and it's super pretty. It looks, it looks really natural next to all the bright colors. Um, but I picked this color because it gives you a nice little rosy glow. And I don't know. It reminds me like if you're going to be swimming all the time, you're going to get a little rosy in the cheek. So why not make it accent it? I'm just gonna suck my cheek in and I'm just gonna just here. That's what I that's what I don't know. That's how I like to apply my brush blush. I'm quite weird like that. And then I'm bringing it up to my temple and I just like bend it in to look a little more natural. And I forgot something in my eyes and if you caught it then you're smart and I like you. And if you didn't touch it, it's okay. I like you still too. We love each other here. Um, but I'm just going to zoom back in. I'm going to get my eyelash curler. I'm gonna, and this is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to be really, really super duper careful. Though, these shadows don't tend to wear off quite easily. They have a bit of power. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Lancome Cliss Design Pro Mascara. And I use this one because all my other mascaras are a little more volumizing. But Ariel's lashes look to be a little more length instead of volume which I'm like okay girl you know I feel you you want a little more length under the water all that time I'm not saying that this won't give you any volume but it's there for length just the bottom lashes Ooh. and what I like about this mascara is that the big side <laughs> is actually for design um, and you're probably like thinking what it is like just like a little thing like that and you can use it to get in to the very inner corners of your lashes right there. okay so that's the eyes and I just got some mascara there but that's okay Um, now I'm going to go back to my face and I'm going to take my Stila 24A brush and I'm going to go into my next All I Ever Wanted palette. And I did try to use some of these colors, but they're very, I don't know, I feel like I got a default one of these shadows because they have really lacky pigmentation. And like I tried to, I, I wanted to do one really intense look and one a little more subtle, like the corals base, but once putting in my crease next to a really sparkly shadow, it did not show and I was like, okay. But the one thing I really do love in this palette, if it wants to come out, if it's honey, is the highlighter and it's just right there. That one there. I'm just gonna get a little bit on this on my brush and I'm gonna run it down into my face. Right above my cheekbones. And I'm doing this because you glisten in the sun if you're moving. Brow bones, why not? Above my nose. Oh, I cannot. You're supposed to contour the sides of your nose. I'm highlighting them. Why not? But I do feel like my nose looks a little skinnier. And I'm just going to take off my fingers and do my cupid's ball. Bow. That's probably my favorite place to highlight. I don't know. And I feel like I just put a little bit under there too. And then for my lips, like I said, Ariel had some bright red lipstick, and girl, you worked it with your hair and all that stuff. But see, there's kind of a little clash going on with the blue and the red, so I decided to go coral. And you guys, probably, some of you guys are going to be like, coral doesn't go that well either. I'm like, yeah, but it looked nice, and it is not super, super bright, maybe, depends on you. There you go. And I kind of really like this combination. Um, I must be going somewhere really special to be wearing eyeshadow like this because it's kind of intense. But you know, to each its own. And if you want to wear this anywhere, you go. 
You glow thing, Coco. High five. But yeah, I like the coral with it. I don't know. I feel like you get the coral from like the coral <laughs> and then you get this blue waters and any other coral color coral or stuff there is down there like the fish that are blue like the sharks and the dolphins and I'm gonna stop talking I'm just gonna say bye and I think this is my store just didn't work yet do you see that time there um so that is it and if you liked it don't forget to like and go to Tiffany Lee's channel and subscribe and tell her she's awesome and she actually knows her stuff a lot better than I do. That's a little bit of sucking up. But it's the truth! <laughs> I just highlighted the sides of my nose. She knows a little more than I do. But she's super nice and she's fun and her, her and her sister, I don't know, the, people are going to think I'm crazy because I have like this weird obsession with her and her sister together, but when they're together, it's just like so much fun, and it's just like, woohoo, party time now. Okay, I'm going to shut up now, and bye. I'm going to give you guys a heart. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming.